Hey, what's going on my reefing fam? March here, Fragbox TV. We have a customer in the store today with some issues with Monty that are dying and also Millipora. So he brought in his water. We're going to test it for him. This is something we do pretty often here in the store. Well, I'm not going to test it. Tia, our lovely water tester here, is going to take a look and she's starting with, we looked at salinity mm -hmm. and what was the conclusion? 1.0 and the alkalinity? 9.3. 9.3. Oh, that's a little high. Is that what you really. expect to keep it at normally? Uh, well, I have the, the 149 parts per million, so I don't know what. What does that convert to from, from HANA to things? So we use the DKH scale. The problem, the coral he's having trouble with, this is one here. This is a Montipora. So quite an easy coral to keep. Easy for a hard coral. So it's SPS, it's in the hard coral family. This is a Rainbow Monty. This over here is some red Monty cap. If you want to see a couple more examples, this one here. Also some Monty cap. You can see this white tissue that's over here is actually getting stung by the hammer. So this is irresponsible reef keeping. I really should move one of them. And then the other coral was Millipora. So I'll show you that one over here. Pretty easy SPS I would say to keep. SPS corals in general, a little bit harder. Hard coral, hard to keep, but of the hard ones, this is the Aquapora Millipora. We just call it Milli. This one here, and you can see the tentacles are out. It's fuzzy, that's what we like to say, or that's what we call it at least here. I know that's not a scientific term. Fuzzy, fuzzy, and fuzzy. So that's a really good sign. You see the polyps out there? So on his, they retracted, and then it, the millies died fast or slow? Uh, it was slow. It Sl weeks. Slow, and then did it peel like the um, tissue peeled off the base of it? Uh, yeah, the, the like much are peeling now. Slow tissue necrosis, so Monty. 9.3. Has it? Has your is your alk always that high? No, it was 149 when I tested. So this is a few days later. Oh, so it's going up. It was what? 149. 149. Okay. I, I would reduce the alk. How do I do that? I think it. Uh, are you dosing alkalinity? No. Oh, you're not. Oh, did you just do a water change? No, I took this water before I did the water change, and then I did a water change. Okay. And then you did a water change. So if anything, now it's going to be even higher. Uh, what salt? Which salt brand? I switched to Red Sea. Yeah, this one here, yeah. the black stuff, yeah. it's quite high already in alkalinity. So that's the one we're using too. But it mixes at like a DKH of tw 11, 11 or 12. It, it's kind of high. Yeah. Did you notice issues with the tank after water changing? No, everything, like all the LPS look great. All the LPS look great. The yeah. SPS have been having problems for a while. It's not something yeah, and I did. I was using the the orange buckets before, and I switched. Oh, you switched salts? Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's it right there. I wouldn't switch. I, I, how how like when did you change salts? Uh, right around the time you started having issues. Probably, but I think the milling went first. I would I would say it's the salt. I I never I never recommend anyone to change salts, and I, it's I mean, and why I'm glad I want. To but you know what I think? The tanks get so used to everything that's in that salt. Like, let's say you use it for years. All the elements are the same. The alk, every, you know, they're growing under all these same conditions. And then you go and you change up everything. I would fight you on... It's you want to fight? I used actually reef crystals for more than 10 years. Yeah. Why did you decide to switch? Don't tell me it's one of my videos. You're out of stock. Oh, crap. So it's good. We were out of stock. So reef crystals, I use, you know, it's not the most expensive salt. It's not the cheapest. It mixes kind of dirty. You get sort of like this crud in the bottom. I used it for a long, long time, but I usually recommend people, whatever you're using, you know, if it's a decent brand, this apparently is the best, Tropic Marin. I think it's the change in salts. I don't know if it's worth going back now that you've already, and you probably have a bucket of salt. Maybe just stay on the new stuff. I just bought two. Uh, we see a lot of people change salts and then and then run into issues with with their with everything. Do less water changes and yeah, or maybe grab another one of reef crystals and kind of wean off of it and mix the two together. That's another option, huh? Why? Dramatic? He's got a very he's got a very nice tank. He's it's a better salt though, right? I I think it's a better salt. I that's what we're using here for the entire store. It's all Red Sea Coral Pro on everything even the fish the inverts even places where it typically wouldn't even matter we're, we're using that salt i think that i'm, I'm going to say it's the salt yeah 
Okay, so what do I do? Just stick with this and try again in a little while? Yeah, I would stick with it. Less, less is more. Leave this, keep using that one. And uh, once stuff looks good, maybe try another milli. I think it was the change. I think if you took home a milli today, actually here, you know what this is we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you a milli on the house. Take this and then tell me in like two weeks if it does the exact same thing as uh, as yours there. So the one I'm gonna give him. Um, please don't come to the store looking for free milli. I'm just doing this for the purpose of the video and he's a very old and good customer. So we're gonna give him one of these sunsets here. You can see they have good polyp extension, good color, and then maybe we'll report back in a vlog episode in a couple weeks and um, see if it looks good. I think it's, what do you think? What do you think? I'm gonna give him a milli and then just see how it does. Because you think it's the leathers, so if this does well, then it means it's not the leathers. No, we're like 8.8. 8. 8. We're closer. We're closer to nine right now. So we're, this is our little experiment we're gonna do. So this is a lot of kind of what we do here in the store. People come in. Okay, maybe we're maybe I'm off. Maybe it's not the um, maybe it's not the salt at all. Maybe it's something else to play. But just because the change in salt lines up with the. Um, the better one? It is. Yeah, that's the yeah yeah. Get that one. Side one. Side note: If you need a refractometer, go with a side one. Uh, I think we're gonna wrap it up. I hope that that's gonna fix it. If you guys ever need help with stuff like this, you know where we are here. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you're new to the channel. We are a coral store. Uh, coral store. Is that we are aquarium store. We're a store that specializes in saltwater aquariums. That's what we do. And if you like the comment content, give us a thumbs up, and we'll be back here tomorrow because we try and do a video here every single day of the week. Thanks for watching this one, guys.